Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, of course, with my buddy, Cowboy Joe Boo and Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys and you ladies, this literally does not work. All right, we want to take care of a little bit of business here. We just had the Mike McCarthy very first press conference. A lot of you guys said, damn, I forgot that Mike McCarthy was the coach of the Dallas Cowboys. And... um it's interesting because I, I wanted to bring a few things. He let the cat out of bag that Tyrone Crawford is retired because he was kind of like, you know, well, we've talked with Tyrone Crawford and, you know, and he had said that, oh, uh, I'm, I'm not supposed to talk about that. Oh, I guess I let the cat out the bag then. Oh, okay. Um, you, you, you know. Pop quiz, asshole. You have a hair trigger aimed at your head. What do you do? A trigger aimed at your head. What do you do? I, I don't, Mike, Mike McCarthy. I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do. But apparently, you don't let the cat out of the bag. So Tyrone Crawford is retiring from the Dallas Cowboys. He also talked about Sean Lee and said they're in talks with Sean Lee. So we don't know if Sean Lee is thinking about coming back. And the Cowboys, of course, being kind of light in the linebacking core at the moment, may want to bring him back. We don't know. I, don't quote me. Do not quote me. We don't know. But they're in talks with him. So he may retire. He may come back as a coach. He may be playing for the Cowboys. Other news that we had in here, um, Keanu, whoa, Neil, is going to be starting out with the linebacking core. That's basically what he said. Now, as far as are we a 4-3 or are we a 3-4 defense? Well, we are more scheme-oriented, excuse me, more player-oriented than scheme-oriented. So we may end up having, you know, some situations where the team may be a 3-4 or 4-3. And as far as Alden Smith goes, Alden Smith, he said he's not moved on from Alden Smith just yet because of his versatility, because he can play multiple roles. However, they did bring in guys that are also of that guild that, you know, you can be a nine, you can be a five, you can be a five, you can be a nine, that you can play different roles. So we're still talking about a hybrid type of a defense. Now, as far as signing Dak Prescott, he said he was in Miami, in Miami or in Florida. I'm not sure if it was Miami or not, but he was on the beach and said he was doing cartwheels in the sand. Now, I will say... I will say that he did look like he had lost a little bit of weight. I, I think he had lost a little bit of weight. Now, if you're asking me, you know, one of the questions they asked him is, you know, with, with last year being the way it was, and we don't know just yet how the NFL is going to be dealing with the offseason works. They haven't gotten guidance yet, but he found out through this press conference that the teams will be allowed to have up to 10 people who have been fully vaccinated to be together for the draft. 10 people. He didn't know that. He found that out when a reporter asked him. So I'm kind of worried about how much he's in the loop for everything. The next thing that was interesting is this. And I look at this as the biggest thing that the Dallas Cowboys could probably do to improve their Zoom calls and their teaching virtual reality. You know, Jerry, 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 come here. Jerry Jones, you are probably one of the richest owners in the NFL. You have the mecca that is AT&T Stadium. You have the biggest fan base in the world. You are on every show talked about on a daily basis, even during Super Bowl week. You the man. Why the hell do you have Wi-Fi that sucks? I got better Wi-Fi here in my basement than you got there at AT&T. If this is what you're putting out for a press conference, the very first press conference that Mike McCarthy's had in a year with live people, and, and, and that disgrace of one that you had with the Dak Prescott signing, where the shit kept freezing and breaking up and everything. D dude, dude, how is it you cannot have good Wi-Fi? And how do you expect the players? I can understand why the defense is confused last year. I can completely understand how it's confused with all the freezing. I mean, this is like Max Headroom. 
I literally feel like we are watching Max Headroom. Fix the damn Wi-Fi. It ain't like you ain't got enough money to do it. Come on, man. We, you, you, you're putting us through. We are sitting here watching your press conference with Mike McCarthy <laughs> freezing up. Rewind. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. And how do you expect the players to learn some shit with that broke-ass Wi-Fi? Damn. Damn. I don't understand how a, a multi-billion dollar industry cannot have good Wi-Fi. It's bad enough that when I go to a game, I can't get a damn signal. I, I, that's bad enough. But damn, you can't even do a press conference without having some good Wi-Fi? Seriously? Seriously. All right, other notes. <sighs> Mike McCarthy is looking forward to year two and being more player-centric in what they do. Um, of course, talking about his tackles. So now he's saying Tyron Smith and Lyle Collins are looking really good. And as he put it, you know, when you end up having your, your offensive line start for 16 games in a row, you're going to be a lot better team than when you end up bringing guys off the street literally to have. Um, but this still feels new to him because of the way things were done this offseason because of COVID. And he definitely is looking forward to getting into a groove where they're working with players, although they do not have guidelines yet from the NFL how the offseason will work. I guess all of it will depend on how everything's going with COVID. You know, we already hear now that we may have some fans at the draft and that the draft will be held in Cleveland. Um, and, of course, we're hearing that they don't have to be out on the yacht. They can actually have 10 people who've had COVID shots uh, together in a draft room. Um, he also said, of course, we need to be better on the D line. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that, earth shattering. Um, one other question is, uh, you know, he's talking about doing cartwheels on the beach. Did it look like to you that he lost some weight? I, I think he might've lost some weight. Um, he loves also a 90-man roster in hopes that they keep the 90-man roster because that enables them to get more work in and, you know, having basically more guys for practice squad to, you know, to, to rotate through. And, of course, the other benefit of this is when you have those extra guys that are learning your system, when invariably you lose players, you have guys that at least know your system as opposed to getting the guy out from the parking lot at Walmart and bringing him in and he's got to learn it as well as being left. But he also loves competition. He would love to be able to have extra players in and basically do a fight royale to see who's going to be the starter. I personally love that. I hate it when a guy is literally anointed a starter and doesn't have to worry about fighting it out. So that's, um, you know, a, a great thing. Um, as far as the defense goes, he said, you know, he wouldn't be surprised if we draft a couple of defensive players. Really, dude? Really? Oop, wrong one. Really, dude? Can, can, can we literally? <sighs> um, he also pointed out that the guys that they brought in, they're taller. They're more linked to him. He likes guys that are taller and have more length um, as far as players, They, especially the cornerback position. They feel that they can match up better with some of the bigger receivers, but doesn't expect a lot of change on the defense. He said one of the problems with last year was literally – they changed too much stuff, and with the virtual reality and the weak-ass Wi-Fi, they couldn't teach what they wanted to go. So, with that being said, you're up to speed. Tyrone Crawford, retired. I will see you guys. I'm headed back to the workshop soon. Peace.